every day we drive on it, we ride on it, we park on it, and we walk on it. But do you know where asphalt comes from and how it becomes a road or a parking lot? Asphalt pavement is made of two ingredients, different sized rocks called aggregates and liquid asphalt called binder. The aggregates are pulled from stockpiles, dumped into the designated cold feed bins, heated through the dryer, mixed with the binder, and stored in the silos where haul trucks load out and bring the hot mix to the job site. Before the hot mix can be delivered to the job site, the area to be paved must be graded to the proper grade or depth and slope or angle. If it's a new road, as an example, the grading crew will clear the area. Grading is vital to the process. The asphalt will follow the same slope and depth as what's beneath it, so preparing the structural stability is extremely important. The grading crew is made up of at least three crew members, the loader operator, the grader operator, and a ground man. The loader operator scoops and transports the road base on the job site. He recognizes hand signals and can interpret grade stakes to help prepare the road for paving. The grader operator prepares the roadway surface for paving. He spreads the road base to a designated slope and grade. The ground man shovels material around and off curbs and string lines area for grading along with other miscellaneous tasks. The pieces of equipment on a grading crew include a front end loader, a water truck, a grader, and a roller. The front end loader is used for many functions. It spreads the road base ahead of the grader, it removes excess road base from the project, and helps to meet the designated grade by using a back drag motion. After the road base is spread on the surface, water is added to achieve the proper moisture content, which is key to densifying the material. Simply put, moisture plus compaction equals density. The grater has large blades on its bottom used to create a flat surface at a specific slope. The slope is important because it determines which way water will flow to drain off the road. The roller follows the grater and compacts the road base. If it is a resurfacing job, the milling machine will mill up the old asphalt. This is called wrap, reclaimed asphalt pavement. It can be used again in a new asphalt mix. Like the grader, the milling machine is set to a specific depth and slope. Once the road surface is at its proper depth and slope, it's imperative that the surface is clean of debris before paving starts. Dirt in the road will prevent the tack from distributing evenly, affecting its ability to adhere the new asphalt to the milled surface, causing slipping problems in the future. The broom tractor operator is responsible for cleaning the roadway or parking lot of any and all debris before, during, and after paving. The broom tractor has a large brush attached to the front used to clean surfaces. Broom tractors are available in hydraulic or mechanical options. Once the surface is clean, prime or tack should be applied. These sticky liquids act as the glue between the base and asphalt in new construction and between layers of asphalt in overlays or second lifts. The tack truck driver operates a distributor truck with a tank to spray the tack or prime on the roadway. He is responsible for an even, consistent coat of tack or prime on the surface before paving can begin. Sometimes the tack truck driver will use a hand wand to apply the liquid. The tack truck is a distributor truck with a large tank that transports the material to the job site. At the distributor are multiple nozzles where the material is dispersed. Proper pressure and the spray bar height must be monitored to ensure proper distribution. Each truck is equipped with a hand wand for distribution in smaller areas that may be too narrow for the truck. Once the surface is cleaned and primed or tacked, it's ready to pave. The lineup of people and equipment here is known as the paving train. It includes the haul truck, the material transfer vehicle, or MTV, 
the paver, and the rollers. The haul truck driver is responsible for delivering the hot asphalt to the job site. The temperature of the asphalt is crucial, so haul truck drivers must be efficient and safe. At the plant, use a three drop technique, front, back, middle, to prevent segregating the mix. He must stay centered in front of the paver and pay attention to the dump person so to fill the hopper of the paver or MTV efficiently. The paving crew has multiple positions, paver operator, MTV operator, screed operators, loop men, ground men, a dump man, roller operators, a paving foreman, and a mechanic. The paver operator drives this paving train. He alerts the crew to where they are moving and controls the pace of paving. He ensures the hopper is always full and there is a consistent head of material at the auger. He must also keep the paver straight and on path. The material transfer vehicle operator drives the MTV on larger straight line paving operations. He sits high and communicates with the haul truck drivers as to continuously fill the MTV hopper with hot mix asphalt. The screed operators must understand the components of the paving operation, such as the angle of attack and slope. They will heat the screed prior to the start of paving and must make adjustments when necessary throughout the operation. They control the amount of material being used and are responsible for consistent mat texture and proper joint construction. Consistent mat texture equals smooth road, which leads to happy drivers. The loot man is responsible for a smooth and consistent surface. He uses the loot rake to smooth asphalt joints and assist in hand work areas. This person is responsible for looking out for defects in the map and making repairs when necessary. The ground man assists the crew during the paving operation. He is responsible for placing, smoothing, and setting asphalt on the job as well as looking after the map assisting in raking, sweeping, and shoveling asphalt. He will also use the tamp to compact areas where handwork is necessary. Another responsibility of the ground man is to streamline the project. He must mark out the project and determine the different widths to be paid. He will also use the tamp to compact areas where handwork is necessary. The dump man safely directs haul trucks to the paver or MTV and ensures proper alignment. He alerts the driver when to dump the asphalt into the hopper. He also collects load tickets from haul truck drivers, which is extremely important for tracking the amount of asphalt used on the job. The roller operators compact the mat. A rolling pattern is established and the operators go back and forth, working with quality control technicians to achieve the proper density. The mechanic inspects and repairs the equipment on the paving train. Preventative maintenance is a key responsibility in this role because it is extremely expensive to stop the paving operation during a project. The paving foreman supervises the paving operation and has the ability and experience to work in any position on the paving train. He is responsible for planning and managing all aspects of the project, including the team members, ensuring they work efficiently and safely. As we mentioned earlier, there are multiple pieces of equipment on the paving train. The haul truck, the material transfer vehicle, or MTV, the paver, and the rollers. The haul truck transports the hot mix. It can hold up to 20 tons in its bed. The bed is hinged at the back so it can be lifted to dump the material. The MTV is used to transport the mix between the haul truck and the paver. In large, mainline paving operations, the MTV helps to keep the mix feeding the hopper consistent and uniform. It also helps prevent segregation. The asphalt paver spreads out and lays the asphalt and applies minor compaction. It has two components, the tractor and the screed. The material feed system is at the tractor which pushes the trucks and tows the screed. This is where the hot asphalt mix goes into the paver, at the hopper, moves along the conveyor, under the flow gates, to the augers. The tractor has a push roller at the front. 
The push roller makes contact with the haul truck as it backs up to the paver when there is no MTV in use. The hopper is where the hot mix asphalt is dumped. It has wings on the outside that fold up to force the mix to the center of the hopper. If an MTV is in use, a separate insert is used to accept the hot mix. The hopper can never be less than one third empty during the paving operation. The conveyor carries the asphalt from the hopper to the augers. The auger spreads out the mix evenly across the set width of the paving lane. There are two augers and each can be operated independently of the other. The second component is the screed. The screed lays the correct depth and matches the designated slope on the job. Once the hot mix reaches the augers, it is distributed to the front of the screed. The screed plate is the flat bottom portion of the screed where the operators are positioned. The screed plate flattens and smooths the hot asphalt mix as it exits the paver. The screed extensions allow the crew to pave a width wider than the screed. Each extension can add up to four to five feet of width to the paver. You will typically find two rollers on a paving train, the steel wheel roller and the pneumatic or traffic roller. The steel wheel roller initiates the compaction on the fresh mat. This roller usually has two steel drums. Water is sprayed on the drums to prevent the hot asphalt from sticking to them. The traffic roller follows the steel wheel roller and adds final compaction efforts as well as needs the asphalt. These rollers typically have four wheels on one axle and four wheels on the other axle. You will often see the operator throwing sand on the new pavement during compaction. This is done to prevent asphalt from sticking to the wheels. This traffic roller also adds to the aesthetics of the final product. It's important to note, not all paving jobs follow straight lines. Many jobs require all hands on deck to assist in handwork around curbs, bull noses, and against other obstacles. In these instances, the loopmen and the groundmen provide critical skills to the operation. It's also important to note, working in the asphalt industry is extremely rewarding. When you are part of the asphalt crew, you are directly responsible for building our country's infrastructure. Not many people can say that about their jobs. Working on a paving crew also provides a fantastic view.